everyone, it's Karen Jean and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to show you a couple things before we start today's video. I have been very busy working through scraps and I wanted to show you this is my envelope bucket, right, of all my envelopes. And look at that. I got through a lot of those doing different things and cleaned it up some and there's actually room in there. <laughs> now, not for more envelopes, not for more envelopes. Also, look at my scrap bucket. Um, this is what we're going to be doing. I've been really working through the scrap bucket, too. I'm going to pick it up here, if I can. Oh, it is a bit heavy. And what I'm going to do here is I have some larger scraps in file folders. I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to repurpose those file folders. Uh, and that's what we're going to do today, what I'm, what I'm going to do with those file folders. Because over here, you see, this is why I trip. <laughs> this is why I trip. I have stuff on the floor. And this is, this is me turning in a circle. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh. Get the garbage out of the way. This is my little bucket of ephemera. And so, uh, let me pull this over and we'll go through this. Something just fell on my foot. <laughs> we'll check that out in just a second. Oh my goodness. All right, excuse my fingers. Bella's out there in the hall. Let's see if I could do this. Ooh. I have to readjust my camera. All right. Uh, let's see if I can get it up here. What what fell on my foot? Okay. Oh. Okay. So let's see what we see if I can show you this. So I have these are um, the altered paper clips. I had this sheet of paper in the scrap bucket. I forget what it is. It's a picture of it's a, of some kind of cell or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like the colors. So, and the matchbooks. And just like this, I was just going through a little pocket here to put in. Just going through the scrap bucket and just... This is something I made a long time ago. Don't particularly like it but I'll hang on to it. Um, just did some more of the Roxy's flips. This one you guys didn't see. I made a shaker card flip. Um, but yeah, my little envelope folios, which I showed you guys. These are the four by six paper, pa whoops, ugh, paper pads. Need to figure out still the closure on that one. It'll be figured out once I get a journal for it. And just all my little things. All the little things that I've been busy working on. Uh, just getting through those scraps, right? Just getting through those scraps. Oh. And these are just more... Yeah. More of those. I had the paper clip on them to keep them closed. Uh, journaling cards. Yeah, so here are all the scraps. Again, because I had scrap envelopes in the scrap bucket. And I am... Uh, I am going through the scrap bucket to get rid of more scraps. Sorry about that. Now... Uh, I can't, I don't know, let me see if I can get this higher. Sorry about that glare. This is, this is the scrap bucket. A couple of large crinkly pieces of paper. That's, that's how I clean. I just throw everything in the scrap bucket. Uh, okay, so what we're doing today, yeah, there's still lots of, the, the scrap bucket has gone down a lot. Um, I'm not sure you guys are catching that or not, but it has gone down a lot. So here we have some file folders. And what I'm going to go do is back here. These are 
like larger pieces of scraps that I was organizing in file folders in a separate place. But because they were in a separate place, I was missing, missing them, not doing them. Uh, a piece of tissue paper when I was like going through the scraps buckets to do things. So I'm just going to empty it all here into the scrap bucket because I want these file folders Oh, what is that? It's a little pocket. Oh, yeah. I want these file folders. Most of this is cardstock scraps. There are some, like this top piece here, that's paper. That top piece is also paper. But most of it is cardstock, like. Well, that's not cardstock. That's just one single piece of paper. I mean, what's the point of having them in here? I'm obviously not paying any attention to them. This is, but this is seasonal stuff. So this I actually might leave in this and put it in with my, I have a whole separate um, container of Christmas things. So I'm just going to put that aside. All right. Now we have that. Now, let me see if I can lower you down some. And what we're going to do... Oh, paper, that's going to go back in. So, what I'm going to do here is... What I like to do sometimes, and I like to have these on hand. I, um, I haven't done them in a while, but I was going through some of old videos of mine right now um this is what i'm going to do i'm going to turn this into something that we can put in a journal you could either make it a signature cover or just an insert um i did one in sandy's journal where uh what i do is we ha i have the big folder here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim it off here on the side and then i'm going to fold up the inside to make pockets, fold over the outside to make pockets. So that's what we're going to do. But first I just need to square it off. So I'm going to take it here and trim it. Just chop off this top bit here. Okay. 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 Now, uh, and because uh, usually I'm going to make this standard size for one of my, for my journal, which is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper folded in half. So it becomes a five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. So, um, this here is, uh, almost 12 inches. Now I like my pockets to be two and a half inches deep make it maybe three inches deep but it's just three inches is just a hair over a third right if it's eight and a half this way it's not if it were nine inches it would be three three and three and so um it's just that's just a little bit too deep i want a two and a half inch pocket so i want to take the eight and a half inches and i want to add two and a half inches which makes it 11 inches right eight and a half uh plus two and a half is eleven and this is, um, how big is this? This is 11 and uh, three quarters. So I need to take a quarter of an inch off of this this way. A quarter of an inch. Let's see. I think that's where I have the mark right there. I think I'll do it over here, though. Just a quarter of an inch. No, oh, all right quarter of an inch is here. That's not a quarter of an inch. I'll do it this way. That doesn't look like a quarter of an inch either, but I guess it is. All right. Excuse me. I know this is ridiculous. I have it marked here. You could see these little hashtags, but there's more than that's there's a couple there. That's why it's confusing to me. 
Um, all right, quarter of an inch. Boom. So I'm taking quarter of an inch off the bottom, and then I'm going to fold this up uh, two and a half inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is just score it. Get my scoreboard out. Oh, hello. <laughs> it fell on the floor. Uh, uh. Put that aside. So I'm going to score it this way two and a half inches. Right? Two and a half inches. I'm going to flip it over. Get you up in the corner. Two and a half. Whoops. Two and a half inches. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in because this is going to be folded up, right? Like that. Two and a half inches. Okay. Now, because this is um, five and a half inches, I need to see how wide it is. And this is, I'm sorry if it's coming off here. This is eight, eight and an eighth. Okay. <laughs> I should have just measured before I cut it. So five and a half. So let's go uh, two and a half and an eighth. So I'll figure out the math on that in a minute. Um, so I want to cut off two and a half and an eighth about there. Wait a minute. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me from doing that. That is not what I wanted to do. I want to score this <laughs> because remember, I want the side pocket. Oh, my goodness. I hope you guys were yelling at me and saying, no, that's not what you want to do. I'm going to score it at five and a half inches here. And let's flip it over again. Score it at five and a half inches. Uh, now, because I already scored it, it's going off the, it's going off the reservation a little bit. Five and a half inches, right? Yeah, right there. Right there, more or less. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to cut out this square here at the bottom. And I'm just keeping it folded and cutting it out this way. Like so. And like so. Okay, boom. Now, now the question is, um, do I thumb notch it now or do I thumb notch it later when I put it in a journal? Because this is going to be folded over. How wide is this? Um, it's a little bit more than two and a half inches, but that's fine. So this is going to be folded over on that score line right there. Right? I don't, I don't know because this is white on white on white. I'm not quite sure you guys are seeing this. And we're going to fold this one over here on that score line. See, we might I might have to trim it down a little bit. Also, because this is a side tuck, I don't know if I want it so deep. But you, do you see that there? That's from the folder. And then we're going to fold it up. At two and a half. And fold it up. like so. And so this gives us, it could like just in the, it could be a signature center, a signature cover, just a piece to put in anywhere in the journal. And you have a side tuck here. I am going to trim this down. Um, I'm going to trim this down to two inches, I've decided. Just, and then we have our pockets here, right? Because of this, you're going to have to cover it with something first. And then this here. So that's what that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to open this back up and uh, 
trim this down. Trim this down. I'm gonna put that fold on the two inches, like so. It looks a little crooked, but that is a little crooked. All right, let's try that again. There. And there. And that's that's the base of it. Now this is, and I do this with this on the inside um, to cover it up. I could also put it on the outside. You know, you could flip it the other way if you wanted to. Let's do it this way, right? Uh, it would still need to be covered with something. But that's, I just use the fold that's already in the file folder. You know, no sense in making more work for myself. So there's one. And all I'm going to do is obviously, no, you know me, I can't decorate until I have a journal in front of me. Um, I'm just going to put a couple of paper clips on it to uh, kind of train it, training it a little bit. Now, the same goes for this one. What I'm going to do right now is I'll first I will cut it down this way. Um, I want it so five and a half, seven and a half. I want seven and a half. So I need to cut. I'm just actually going to mark it. I don't know if you're seeing down here or not. Sometimes math is not my friend. I'm just going to mark it at the seven and a half. Why, why complicate my life, right? Putting the fold up against there, seven and a half is right there. And that's where I'm going to chop it. Chop it, chop it. Right where that pencil mark is. Right where that pencil mark is. Like so. Now, I've just been throwing this away. I have more than enough scraps. Um, this is a... a a very long tab. Also, I have the sticker on it. I don't know if I can get the sticker off. Let's see. Uh, if you're doing this, like I'm just recycling these folders. Obviously, that's what I'm doing here. You know, it's going to tear away the paper. Um, but you could just hang on to this and make a tab out of it if you want. I, like I said, I have more than enough. I have more than enough. <laughs> more than enough. Okay, and then this is... Um, and I want this at 11 inches. So I'm taking, I'm just going to, again, mark it with the pencil. I'm taking, oops, that much off of it. So I can then do my folding. Okay. Now, I'm going to score this at two inches, right? The open side, I'm going to score it two inches uh, because this is, according to this, it's seven and a quarter. So five and a quarter, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't have to score. I could do one and three quarters inches to make sure that that stays at five and a, maybe I'll do one and three quarter inches. Whoops. It's not, uh, maybe this is too thick for that to work. Let me get a different, um, different tool. Let's see if this one will work. There, yeah. And then this one, um, going to, score at two and a half inches, right? Because this is, let's make sure, excuse my head, 11 inches. So I'm scoring it at two, two and a half inches. There. And we still need to cut off our little box down here. And then we can fold. So nip it there. Nip it there and cut in here a little bit because you don't want the bulk 
on uh, the pocket there when you're putting it into a journal. Now, let's see if we can. Let me fold out the outsides first. There. And let's do this one. Get it up there. There we go. And now I can fold this up. this one up. There. And there is number two. And I might just flip these. Now see, there's a big difference there in size. Why is that? Because this one, hold the phone, what, what mistake did I do here? This one, there we go, is measuring nine inches. We don't want nine inches. We want eight and a half inches. All right, we need to cut off half an inch. Not quite sure. Not quite sure what we did there. I'm going to bring it up, the blade up, because you want to cut into a fold, not away from a fold, especially if you're doing it by hand. Um, I'm not quite sure how important that is uh, if you're doing it on a trimmer, but you cut into a fold so that it doesn't, here. so that it doesn't shift and go wonky, go wonka doodle, wonka doodle, wonka doodle. Okay, now. That one there. That's better. <laughs> uh, we're having we're having neighbor issues. Um, we're having neighbor issues. Our neighbor, our backyard neighbor in the corner, caddy corner to us, um, when we moved in had two dogs and now they have like four or five dogs and their dogs are always trying to jump the fence to get to our dog. And uh, when I put Bella out the other day, uh, I didn't know that we live on a hill and I can't see her yard. I don't know when her dogs are out. And she yelled at me telling me that I need to make sure that her dogs are not out in the yard when I put Bella out because all they do is bark and stuff like that. It's like, excuse me? I don't understand. Um, so 11. So we're cutting this down to 11, right? And then we're cutting this one down to um, seven and a half. No, we're not doing seven and a half. I, want, I, don't, I don't want that. Um, so we're going to cut it down to... Wait a minute, five, seven and a half. No, seven and a half should be fine. I shouldn't pick that up at seven and a half. Okay, seven and a half. Anyway, so yeah, we're having neighbor issues. <laughs> what What is that old saying? <laughs> uh, good fences make for the best neighbors. Which is kind of sad because I have always um, tried to, you know, be friendly with my neighbors and make their acquaintance and make, you know, make their friendship and stuff. Um, that's been difficult, though. We've been here for four and a half years, and aside from the woman who lives directly next door to us who loves our dog, I don't know any of my neighbors. <laughs> I don't know any of them. Okay, so, uh, so again, we're doing, we're scoring this one at, uh, let me do it this way. We're scoring this this one at two, two inches. Well, here, five and a half. I wanted five and a half, so I'll just score it along the five and a half line. Uh, let's see. 
it's it goes I think it's because I know it's because I'm not opening this up. All right. So I'm scoring this at the two two inch line over here. And then I'm gonna flip it and score it again at two inches because the double thickness of the file folder is making it difficult. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. And then um what did I say? And then I'm doing two and a half inches this way. And I'm gonna have to flip it two and a half inches this way. To there. And then I'll flip it. And do two and a half inches this way. To there. And they match. That's a lovely thing. So, 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 so. So my grandson had the wrestling championships. Uh, they were out in La Trobe. Uh, they went Thursday. He had way in on Thursday and they started yesterday. And I'm heartbroken for the boy. He lost his first match and then he had a consolation match and he lost the consolation match. And uh, I have not... I have not heard from them. <laughs> they are they are ignoring my text messages. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm very sad for my grandson. You know, he's 14 years old. He, I, he has, really, he has so much to be proud of, quite honestly. This is only his second year wrestling. Um, and he's wrestling, he's 14 years old. And he's wrestling boys that have been, for the most part, have been wrestling longer than him uh, because of his size. He's 6'3 and, I don't know, 200 and something pounds. He's wrestling older kids, right? Um, bigger kids, I don't know. And uh, bigger kids, older kids. Although I'm not, I don't know if in this championship how that how that worked. I don't know if he was still wrestling, you know, 14 year olds or what, but, um, you know, uh, it's an accomplishment for him. I just don't know if he's seeing it that way. I don't want him to be discouraged and to, you know, give up. What we'll do when I'm done with all these, um, well, I have a stack here. All right, I'll stop here because I don't know how long we've been at it. How long have we been at it? Oh, not too bad. Half an hour, almost half an hour. Um, I'll decorate one of them with scraps in the scrap bucket. Of course, what else, right? What else? Uh, it looks maybe a hair wonky because it's not... Yeah, there. All right, so we'll we'll decorate this one. I'll put this away, and now we'll decorate it because you know we want to have some. Excuse me, some fun. Oh, so I hope you all had a great St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Uh, we did. Excuse me, just a minute. Caffeine of choice. Diet Mountain Dew. Um. <laughs> my mother's side of the family is Irish to the core, right? Uh, my grandfather's surname was Kennedy. My grandmother's surname was Parker. And then we go up to Callens and um, Nagels and just very Irish, very Irish family. And uh, take these out. Um, yes, uh, just a very, <laughs> very Irish family. So when we were, and actually it didn't start until I want to say, um, when we came back from, when we came back from Europe, no, before we went to Europe. So it started in the seventies. My mother, um, was working with, uh, for the county, um, in one of their health clinics and she made a lot of friends and etc cetera, etc cetera. and one of our friends was very italian from brooklyn uh very italian brooklyn italian my mother grew up in brooklyn uh although irish she grew up it was an irish italian neighborhood anyway 
I'm just, I'm just picking out small scraps of paper here to decorate this. I have no idea what we're going to do. Um, and, uh, he had never, it was St. Patrick's Day one, you know, one day, one year was St. Patrick's Day. And, and he was looking for a bar uh, that would serve, you know, corned beef and cabbage. Because that's what they all did back then. I have no idea. You know, you buy your drinks and they give you free corned beef and cabbage. And he had never experienced that. And he wanted to experience that. So my he and my mother went out that night, you know, and uh, had some corned beef and cabbage. And then the following year, my mother started having, because of our friend Michael, um, started doing corned beef and cabbage at home. And it was always a big party. And it became a family tradition uh, and one that you got to show up at mom. You got to show up for corned beef and cabbage or else you're going to be disowned kind of thing. So, and that was years and years. And it was a party. It was wonderful. My mother had her special recipe for Irish mist. Not that I drank Irish mist. Um, not, I don't like coffee mainly. It's mainly because I don't like coffee. Um, not Irish mist. Irish coffee. You use the Irish mist for the Irish coffee. Oh my goodness. That's the secret ingredient, Irish mist, not whiskey. Um, and uh, so anyway, yeah. So St. Patrick's Day, huge, huge, huge thing in our house. And later on when my mother, uh, my mother's birthday was in January in the year she turned 70, my mother was a nurse and she worked every weekend and she would not take off. She would never, what am I trying to say? She would always take off for St. Patrick's Day weekend because that's when she would have the party, right? So what um, my brothers and I did is we threw her a surprise party on St. Patrick's Day weekend uh, two months after her birthday because that's the only time she would take off of work. So <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Oh, we had such we had such a blast. It was it was it was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was a thing, um, you know, our friends came down from New York and um, it's like, how, how are we going to get your mother there? We were at the church. It was at my church and, and we were at the church all day in the parish hall, setting up a dance floor and decorating and everything else. And so um, a few days before St. Patrick's Day, I told my mother I wasn't going to be able to make it to St. Patrick's Day because I was getting an award at church for my service at church. And I was very, very involved at church. And it was certainly a plausible, very plausible. You know, she had no, she didn't question it at all. But she was kind of upset. She goes, what do you mean you're not going to be here for St. Patrick's Day? So, um, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Um, so, uh, yeah. And so our friends, when they came down from New York, they showed up at the church first to help us decorate and stuff like that. And then my brother, who was married, um, he, he called my mother and he goes, Mom, I'm going to be late. I'm, you know, I'm going to the church for Karen's thing. And um, my mother was getting madder and madder. And so when M Michael and his wife showed up uh, and she was like, yeah, well, they're, Karen's not going to be here and Stephen's going to be late. And, blah, 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 blah. and he goes, why? What's going on? Well, something at the church. He goes, and so Michael said, well, let's just go and check it out. Don't you think we should just go and check it out? So it was Michael's responsibility to get mom to the church. She was furious. She had, because she was cooking, saying, you know, Irish, she was cooking the corned beefs and everything. <laughs> and so she showed up at church. Oh, my God. And uh, was she surprised? <laughs> it was. I'm, I'm just, it was wonderful. It was the best. It was, it was really the best. <laughs> You know, um, it was a it was a great party. We had we had people who couldn't make it. You know, send special uh, messages, and um, it was pretty fabulous. It really was. This is very pretty. Okay, so that's my uh, that's my St. Patrick's Day story. Uh, that would be very pretty there. What this is here is this is a cover, obviously very glossy cover of this book, which I. Uh, which I just, I just gutted it. It's, it's, I love the cover. I'll make this into a journal at some point. And this is, I got it at a thrift store and this is the book and it's a lot of black and white. I mean, look at these pictures. These will look wonderful. in a look at that. Oh, isn't that going to look good? Oh, recipe journal, recipe journal. See here, I get distracted. Look at that ear of corn. Oh, that's going to look fabulous in the recipe journal. 
So, um, and then they have these pictures too, the glossy pictures. But, uh, so that's why I bought this. <laughs> so I decided to gut it a little bit because this here, right? Although it is glossy, I could fussy cut it out a little bit. We could, we could turn into a corner tucker pocket or something. So, um, why not put it on this for this? It would be, let's see if I could do it. I could put it on the outside here. We'd have to cut that out. Or we can put it down here on the Let's do this. Uh, I want to put I want to put it put it on here, right? And then I'll notch it and glue it down. But before I do that, all right. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's what uh, we're gonna do. Most likely, most likely, uh, this here is directional, so that's not gonna work for that. That's not going to work for that. Um, what else do we have? Not quite sure. If I pulled out, that might look good. Now, again, it doesn't have to be the whole bloody thing. Although, it, mm, cut it there. Cut it there. All right, this is what we're going to do. Whoops. Uh, gonna mark it with the pencil. <laughs> gonna mark it with the pencil there and there. Okay, and there and there. Oh, so <laughs> so so that that's how I grew up, right? That was St. Patrick's Day was very much very much a thing in our household um and one year uh my brother chris it must have been at the time of our mother's 70th birthday my brother chris was living in i think kentucky he lived in louisville for a couple years um uh because of work he was a uh, before he became an innkeeper he was a cable, cable guy, cable expert. He started years ago, right, just with the local cable company installing and stuff like that. And then he, <laughs> he, he worked his way up in various cable companies. Um, to the, uh, he became vice president at one point and they <laughs> I think that might have been when he was in Texas. They promoted him to vice president, and then they laid him off the following week, maybe so that he could get, I don't know, better benefits or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so let's see if I can get that down there. Uh, so I think he was in Louisville. And then a couple of years later, um, he su we surprised mom again. He... Uh, I think I'll just do it this way first. Let's see. Let's see if I can see where that's going to go. This is just under two inches. I think it'll be fine. Um, let's open it up. should probably have a mat down. So then he... <laughs> That was another complete... He wanted to surprise Mom for St. Patrick's Day. <coughs> so, and you, March, especially in, in this area, you know, you were... <laughs> we have to survive March with snowstorms before we can say winter is over, right? Right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um... So, um, so he was flying out this time, probably from Colorado. I don't remember. And he's calling me and he was going to fly into Philadelphia. Okay, fine. No problem. I was in seminary at the time. I lived in Philadelphia. The airport was not far away. 
easy peasy. Snowstorm, he had to fly into, I think they, they had to, they, um, whatchamacallit, they took him to Chicago instead and he had to look for a flight. He wound up flying into, because my brother, although he lived on the East Coast for many years of his life, suddenly forgot where the airports were. And he said he was flying into Dulles Airport. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You couldn't get into New York or Newark? No, we had to fly into Dulles because it was south. And um, they weren't having snow issues there. Well, I don't know if any, you know, Dulles is down in Virginia. It's, they say it's uh, outside of Washington. Yeah, it's outside of Washington. It's not close at all. That took me... I don't know, four hours, I think, to go get him. I was like, Dulles. Obviously, I was not thrilled. Uh, I need to cut this down just a little bit. But um, we have cousins. Um, our cousin Teresa, who uh, died in 2015 from uh, glioblastoma. But uh, there, I'm going to notch it. And we take care of some of that. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, so I drove down there because, yeah, it was a snowstorm and there was snow. <laughs> drove down there, had a visit with them, um, waiting for his flight. Uh, went and picked him up. There's always something. Got him back. So, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. It's a thing. It's a thing in our family. Okay, so here we have this, right? Oh my gosh, there. And I think when they came for, when they came from Mom's surprise party, I don't think they flew. Um, I think they drove because there were a few of them. They were my nephews. Yeah, my two nephews, my brother's two sons, um, his girlfriend at the time. And, uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> anyway, oh, and so then he calls me, you know, like at 10 o'clock the night before mom's party. Where's the hospital? His girlfriend calls me. Where's the local, Where's the nearest hospital? This is where we are. Your brother's sick. He needs to go to the emergency room. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, it's like, <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Okay, I don't think I have a scrap big enough for this at the moment. Um, I do not. I do not. And of course, looking at this over here, I'm thinking, oh, wouldn't that look lovely? I can make one of these for the recipe journal oh, and put it put it down along the side. Uh, okay, what do we can do? What can we do back here? What can we do back here? We can. Huh, these scraps aren't big enough. Uh, and we need to do something in here as well. So, do -do 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 -do. Let's flip this back here. We could put this back here. We could put this back here. Okay, I need to... This here is a little bit rough right there. Calendar. Uh... There. There. There, 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 there. And we could put this just here. Okay, this needs to be cut. Let's see if I can figure it out. Pencil mark. Now, of course, I can pull out all my different pads and paper and everything else, but Scrap Buster, I'm on a Scrap Buster. I'm on a Scrap Buster. Uh, there, okay. And put this down here. So, uh, if you heard that crash, that was the dog. 
she has a rawhide bone that my uh, daughter gave her for Christmas that has like, I don't know, chicken or bacon flavor or something stuck in the middle of it, right? Where the marrow would be. And I don't give it to her all the time because she's very noisy with it. Very noisy. Because it's a raw, big rawhide bone. <laughs> so um, when she's, I gave it to her this morning because she was like, she's extra anxious today for some reason. I don't know. Just she's having a day. And she took it. <laughs> I, I put it in her crate, right? There's a nice thick mat in her crate. And she got it and she put it up. She's usually on the couch. She very frequently um, climbs up on the couch next to my brother because he feeds her. So, um, so she put it up on the couch with her. I don't know if that's going to go. It's very glossy. I don't even know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, so she put it up on the couch, took it up on the couch with herself. And, well, I guess that'll go. Dare I just cut it with the scissor? Yes, I dare. Yes, I dare, but I am going to mark it with the pencil. <sighs> textured cream sheet music. Is it textured? I don't feel like it's textured. All right, I'm going to try the glue stick and then I'll use the wet glue. Maybe. Let's see if I can get this well covered. No, I'm losing a lot of glue from the glue stick on the paper. Okay, here we go. There. So now she has her big rawhide bone on the floor. Okay, let's do this. on my fingers. Uh, am I out of paper towels? Out of paper towels. I'm out of paper towels. I'm not out of paper towels. I'm out of cut up paper towels. Oh. So, yeah, so, you know, I just made a, I made a corned beef. Came out quite delicious using my mother's recipe. And I also made soda bread, which I haven't made in years. I haven't made Irish soda bread in years. And I like raisins in my Irish soda bread. Well, currants, except I didn't have currants and I wasn't going to the store for those. So I just used raisins. Um, and <laughs> because I never have milk, I, I only have milk in the house if I'm making yogurt. And I just made yogurt. I have no milk in the house. I always have cream, though. I always have cream in the house. So, um, and I needed buttermilk. I needed buttermilk to make the soda bread. But I didn't have milk to make buttermilk. <laughs> but like I said, I had a lot of cream. So I, um, I made buttermilk. And I made butter, because that's what buttermilk is from, is when you separate the milk from the cream, you know, the solids from the cream, the fat, whatever, from the heavy cream. So I made homemade butter and buttermilk. And a quart of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, will give you a pound of butter and uh, two cups of buttermilk. <laughs> so that's just, you know, oh, look, it did not go through there. Uh, we'll fix that with something. We'll fix that with that with one of these things um so the soda bread came out delicious of course no not blue i'm thinking sparkly but not blue sparkly oh we could do gold look at that oh this just gave me an idea we can do gold and instead of gluing the gold thing down there i could put it but then that becomes a flip <gasps> 
perfect. Oh, no. I was going to say that would be a perfect flip, and it, it will be a perfect flip as I wipe off the glue, which didn't catch. <laughs> Where'd my little gold thing go? Don't tell me I just lost my gold thing. Here it is. Uh, and I'm going to glue it on the underneath. I'm going to glue it on the underneath. Like so. Like so. Look at that. Like so. Let's see if I can get it over there. Ooh, dog's starting to whine. Sugar shoes. Dag nabbit. Uh. Let's see if I can get that down there. Oh. There. Of glue wiped off there. There. And then this becomes a flip open. Look at that. There we go. Instead of a pocket, it becomes a little flip, a little hidden place. And we can put a uh, paper clip there, right? When we put it in a journal, uh, just some kind of paper clip to hold it down. Okay, now we need to cover the inside of this. How we doing? Okay, 50 minutes. I'm going to have to do some editing to cut it down. What else is going to go in here with this? Um, do I have anything here from... Well, this did not come from this paper pad. Hi, Bella. What's the matter, boo-boo? Hi. No, you can't go outside. You have to stay inside with me. I don't need I don't need those issues. I don't need those issues. Um I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Oh, well, there's this paper, but that was not my idea. Hold on. My idea was my idea was remember these? We can make, I would have to cut it down. Uh, we could just, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this open, first of all. Let's see if I can get that sticker off without ruining it. Maybe not. All right, we're, I'm gonna cut it down here that off uh, and we can make it I'm gonna cut it open here on the bottom I might wait a second how big is this how big is this seven I don't need it seven inches if I cut it down to uh, I take off two inches and then I also need to take off bear with me just a second okay this is once again pencil once again pencil I'm gonna cut it here well I don't want to cut no I don't want to cut it there I want to all right I'm just gonna cut it down some here and then I'm going to just open the sides and we can, I'm gonna turn this into a couple of little self gusseted or at least side gusseted, side gusseted pockets. Let's see if I have this enough, if I've done it enough. I have a feeling I haven't done it enough. Uh, no, it's fine, it's fine. Now, I need to, what did I do with my thing? There it is. Ay, 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 ay. So I want it, this looks a little crooked. Probably is a little crooked. All right, I'm gonna have to straighten it out on the trimmer. Let me straighten it out on the trimmer. If 
by doing this, I might be destroying, might not be able to gusset it and I just might have to, that, that looks better. Um, oh, excuse me, might not be able to gusset it. And well, how much are we talking about here? Three quarters of an inch. All right, if I do half an inch on both sides, and what about this one? We'll fi I will fix that. This is where these things are. I don't know if I'll be able to yeah, take them off. I could have used a, a bigger piece of this envelope. straighten this out a little bit. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Yep, yeah, they're more or less the same. Okay, so I said, well, maybe not Maybe not a half an inch. Let's put them on here and let's do, let's do three eighths here and let's do three eighths there, more or less, less is more. Okay. Ugh. And I'm going to, before I do that, I'm just going to nip the corners. Just nip the corners in. That one looks a little wonky. That's okay. Like so. Then we're going to fold it over where that uh, fold it over. Come on. Uh, fold it over. Okay, and then we need to chomp, we need to chomp, like so, and then if I put the pocket here, right, okay. And I'm just doing it on just a little gusset on the side to make it a little bit easier to get into. Right, right. So where did we say? We said there. I think we said there. That's fine. Okay. Just has a little bit of give up here on top. And now this one, just burnish those down just with my nails. Oops. And here on the bottom, I don't need to seal the bottom, but I'm sealing the bottom and See if I can get it. Oh gosh. Hello, hello. Come on, come on, come on. Get it up there. And this just, I'm just trying to get these even in case they wind up in the center of a signature where you're going to be able to see them, right? And your eye will let you know that, yo, these are not even. And then 
to make sure that the thumb notches are in the same spot. We're just going to do that. Hello. And see it a little on the bottom, but I'm okay with that. And we're going to glue down. Now, obviously, you see me, I'm not inking anything, right? Nothing's been inked. Uh, and I probably can, considering the colors that are here. Oof. Let's see if we can get that glued down, this one. And I'm going down this side, but this side isn't going down. This side isn't going down either. So let's try this again. Let's try that. Um, the inside does not necessarily have to be glued down. Just like in some file folders, the insides are open to make it more ease of use, right? Okay. That one is down. This one, I will pull this one up. And uh, let's see if I can get rid of the glue. There. There, there, there. Uh, here, again, we could deck, I could put a, one of my circles there, but I can also wait till I... It's not, I need a little bit bigger one because that is a little bit bigger. And if I try to rip it up, I'm going to tear the paper. And I don't necessarily want a hole in the paper. So I need a larger. What is this one? This is my uh, one and a half inch. Here we have a two inch. Two inch circle. We can put that there. Or instead of that, we can put... Oh, we could put a label. We can put a label. There we go. Get that off. Yeah, you can kind of see through it, but that's okay. Like so. So here is one. Kind of decorated. It's the beginning. Well, uh, yeah, so this is how you make these modified file folders for a journal. Again, they could also stand alone. You could make this a journal in itself. You can take paper. You have already a spine here. Sew it in, right? You have your pocket, your pocket. It's a folio. It's another, it's another folio made out of a file folder. Boom. <laughs> this is Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. Thank you so much for your time and attention. If you've hung out with me for this long, uh, if yeah, recycle some old file folders. Let your imagination take you to fabulous places. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon.